Hello everyone, Tom Lewis here, Regional and Department of Defense Trainer with Emergency Reporting. Today's two-minute tutorial is all about the latest update to Inspect ER. In addition to fixing bugs and general app maintenance, this release also adds a few new features. First, on the main grid, there is a filter icon on the left side of the header row. Tapping this icon will filter the grid by the occupancies that you've checked. These include any occupancies that are assigned to you from the web app. The check mark indicates that you wish to have that occupancy's inspection data synchronized on your device. Next up is the eagerly anticipated bulk operations feature. This is something we're all used to on the web app, now we're bringing it to inspect DR. Here's how it works. When working on the inspection questions, you can tap one or more of the category boxes and it will automatically select all of the observations within the category. A dialog row will appear at the bottom of the inspection form allowing you to select an observation value for all the questions in that category. Tap Done and you can see that that observation value was applied to all of those questions. Okay, the next feature appears on the result page of the inspection form. By typing in all or part of a contact name, you'll see a drop-down list from which you can pick from available contacts. Tapping it will autofill the email address. Last but not least, when you complete the inspection, you can choose which observations you email to the customer. That way, they'll only receive the items they need to correct instead of the entire inspection form. Okay, let's do a quick recap on the latest changes to Inspect ER. There's a new filter icon that allows you to quickly display occupancies that will sync inspection data to your device. Bulk operations are now part of the inspection form. And last but not least, You can select which observations you send to the customer. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.